In the streets of Saharanpur, a lingering fear. For Muslims in the town, nothing feels safe anymore. Anti-Muslim sentiments growing in India. Targeted in hate crimes, attacked in political speeches. Now, they're afraid the government's coming for their homes. This is what happened to Kushnudas. Bulldozers sent in after her 17-year-old son Abdul was detained. Authorities say they'll demolish illegally constructed homes of those accused of taking part in violent protests. Kushnuda was here with her young grandchildren when the digger showed up without warning. The children were crying. They were howling. There were lots of police here too. Everyone was scared. The bulldozer was outside and we were in here. Thousands demonstrated in the town following Friday prayers over a week ago after a national spokesperson for the Hindu nationalist BJP made offensive remarks about the Prophet Muhammad. A largely peaceful march turned tense. Dozens of Muslim men detained. Asma hasn't seen her son Ali since that day. He's accused of rioting. She says he wasn't even at the protests. But officials have been to inspect her house. She's scared the bulldozers could visit next. We sacrificed everything to build this house. They came and said it's illegal and threatened to break it down. We are insects for them. They can crush us any time they want. It's not just the town of Saharanpur. In recent months, bulldozers have been deployed across India by the governing BJP to crack down on dissent. They're calling it bulldozer justice here in India, a form of punishment which many say targets Muslim protesters, one which has drawn criticism from some of the country's top legal minds. In a statement, a group of retired judges and sitting Supreme Court lawyers said that it was an unacceptable subversion of the rule of law, a violation of citizens' rights, one which makes a mockery of the Constitution. But India's BJP government disagrees. We asked an elected official from the party here in Saharanpur if bulldozing was a proportionate response. Nobody has a right to destroy any public property. So according to the law, definitely the bulldozer must be used on them. Bulldozing is the right thing to do. A threat to their homes and their rights. The bulldozer risks shaking the foundations of India's democratic values. Regina Vadinavan, BBC News, Saharanpur.